It's the final weekend before the elections, and the race for the governor's office is moving at full speed with last-minute campaigning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephanie Parkinson. Thanks for joining us tonight. Democratic candidate Mark Schauer made a stop in Swartz Creek today, and our crews caught up with current Republican Governor Rick Snyder in Portage. NBC 25's Kyle Mitchell is live in studio with tonight's top story on the final push before Election Day. Kyle? Stephanie, the clock is ticking on this year's election. The Snyder and Shower campaigns are both working practically nonstop to pick up every last vote. The Democratic candidate for governor, Mark Schauer, going door to door in Swartz Creek. It's all about talking to voters at this point. I've been doing it for 17 months in every one of our 83 counties. In West Michigan, Governor Snyder is also pounding the pavement, hoping voters will give him another four years. Well, the message is, is look at the recovery we've made in the last four years. We had the lost decade before. We're making a strong comeback. According to recent polls, Snyder and Shower are in a close race for the governor's office. Shower says Michigan needs a change. It's all about rebuilding our middle class and creating an economy that works for regular people, not just for those at the top. Showers traveling across the state over the next few days leading up to the election. Flint area and Genesee County are very important. It's personal for me. My dad was a teacher in Grand Blank for most of his career, taught science and country. Governor Snyder.